Hi everybody, it's Jennifer McCreeth. It's Wednesday, April 9th, 2014. <sighs> I just thought I would turn the camera on and capture some raw emotions. Some. I guess you never know what life will bring. Um, growing up in a challenging world, um, sometimes you need that little break from reality. And uh, for almost 30 years, the uh, world of professional wrestling has brought me some comic relief and some breaks from reality. And uh, at the same time, it's it's a very tough business to be in. Um, the pressure to perform, to be looking good, um, it's led many wrestlers over the years, especially from this, the 80s, um, to abuse drugs, steroids, painkillers, to the point where a lot of them end up getting sick and dying young. Um, one particular wrestler that uh, is perhaps one of the most controversial, the Ultimate Warrior, became a huge star in 1988. Uh, then got into, I guess, a spat with the organization over the rights to his own name. Um, when you create wrestling characters and personas, how much of that belongs to the company and how much of that belongs to the individual? Um, this man, the Ultimate Warrior, initially initially born James Helwig, legally changed his name to Warrior and fought for the rights to be able to use the warrior gimmick to his advantage to make money. Um, <clears throat> for 18 years he spent time fighting the promoters in court and uh, only just recently made a reconciliation with the uh, I guess the primary wrestling organization out there, the World Wrestling Entertainment, formerly World Wrestling Federation. He uh, was inducted into their Hall of Fame Saturday night um, appeared at WrestleMania 30 on Sunday and addressed the crowd Monday night at their flagship television program, Raw. Unbelievably, one day later, on Tuesday, which would be yesterday, uh, around supper time, he uh, apparently collapsed while walking out of a hotel. Um, reported chest pains. Uh, not confirmed yet, but it, it could very well be some sort of cardiac or heart attack or something along those lines. I don't know if it was ever formally announced, but uh, the rumors were there that this man abused steroids and painkillers and all that stuff. Um, beat the shit out of your body, it's going to eventually, you're going to cause damage to it no matter what you do later in life. And uh, here's a guy 54 years old, gone just like that. Um, I guess we can be thankful that we had those memories this past weekend. but. Uh, makes his passing seem eerie I guess and uh, I guess for me um, Wrestlemania is the, probably the biggest name in this in this brand of entertainment um, that combines theatrics and sport um, God how old was I back? Wrestlemania 6 April 1st 1990 I was what 16 years old um, the biggest event First time ever that uh, WrestleMania came to Canada, and I was there, Toronto Skydome, up in the 500 level, and watched the Ultimate Warrior beat the unbeatable Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan is uh, the icon at the time, and uh, nobody ever in their ma wildest dreams would have thought that the Warrior could win the World Championship, and, 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 and he did that night. Um, <clears throat> I had the privilege of watching the Warrior fight many other matches at Maple Leaf Gardens. Uh, including a cage match against uh, Andre the Giant in 1989, just one year earlier. Um, this guy was fun to watch. Um, he was a tremendous bodybuilder, tremendous actor, and, and did a lot of great athletic things as well. And uh, at the same time, after this career ended, he stood up for himself. And uh, I think there's uh, a lot of reasons to respect this guy. And. Uh, yeah, for me, it's just shocking to wake up this morning and turn on the computer and see that this guy had passed away just moments after uh, being back in the spotlight. Um, you got to take care of your bodies and uh, <clears throat> don't take life for granted. Every day is important. I guess that's the message there. And uh, to 
to this day I'm always uh, digging out the old tapes uh, looking for YouTube coverage uh, wrestling is part of my childhood and uh, nothing like uh, turning on an old an old tape and looking at some of those matches from the 80s and the 90s and uh, this is uh, it's a shock um, Sadly, it can't be unexpected. So many wrestlers die young. It, it doesn't surprise me anymore to learn of them dying, but uh, it doesn't make it any easier to accept. It hurts. It's painful to lose uh, someone you you looked up to as a hero. Um, most importantly, this guy has a family. Um, when he's not the pro wrestler, he's the person. He's got a wife. He's got two kids, and obviously has a lot of family and friends that are going to be totally shocked in disbelief and suffering from grief so ultimately that's where we need to think about right now but uh, what it's worth uh, just adding my two cents to the tributes um, wrestling has been stigmatized and stereotyped over the years but there are there are fans f all different shapes and sizes here I am a transgender woman from Newfoundland Canada uh, someone who's run 30 marathons someone who's ran for political office and uh, I'm quite happy to throw my name into that the many legions of fans uh, for pro wrestling and specifically for James Helwig, a.k.a. The Ultimate Warrior. Thank you for all the wonderful memories. I'm Jennifer Priest. On with my day, I guess. Thanks for watching.